Hello, all you favorite fantastic people. It's your boy, MB Nusa, coming back with Final Fantasy 16. And we went to gather some black sand, some star sand, some something, 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 dark side sand, or blackthorn, and we're gonna. We're bringing it back. Yeah! Blackthorn. Got everything you need. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Cheers for the stardust. Should be enough to be getting on with. Nice to get out and about for once. Let's do it again sometime, eh? I'll make a start on putting this thermal plating together then. It'll take some time, mind. So if you've got other things to be getting on with, I could do without you breathing down my neck. <laughs> I'll let you know construction's underway. Are you done yet? Man, with all that renown, I gotta go check to see if we got um, ooh, a bunch of valuables. Yeah, I gotta go check if we've got any new stuff that I can get. Getting back to work too. Oh, give us a shot if you need anything. I guess there's yeah, there's like two ways I can go around. The quickest way is definitely this way. From this location, mm, yes, quite. I've mentioned it before, now say it again. The music is great. Oh yeah! Oh yes! Well, thank you. Eight hundred ability points. All yours. Now, like all of these, like briar clamshells, desert rose, blah 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 blah. Is there all done? a point to having so much though? And the only yeah, there's no new quest. It's just that big fucking S man. That S rank is probably gonna be a bitch. Like, like that's a complete fucking bitch. It's gonna be unreal. Cause it takes me like three. Four tries for A ranks. If I don't come up with something soon, you'll be pleased to hear that Blackthorn started work on the plating. Excellent. One down, two to go. So, what's next? The helm, of course. For this, we'll be repurposing fallen scrap. Salvage from the ruins. I thought that material was all but impossible to work. Ah, but we don't have to. I'm sorry. Just so happens there's one particular ruin that's broken into exactly the right shape and size pieces for what we need. Wow! <laughs> What's the name back there? I'll give you all details. What's the name? Right. That is quite the coincidence, sir. Eh? Oh, Sid, is this about the helm? Uh, yes. Mid said I should speak with you. I'll show you the plans then. Here you see the mithril engine in which mithril is burned to generate heat. That heat is then harnessed to produce motive force. Excess heat is dealt with by means of the thermal displacement stack, which disperses it into the surrounding air. Mm -hmm. Now. Were we to rely on thermal plating alone to achieve this effect, the rate of excess heat buildup would far exceed the displacement coefficient of the plating. In other words, the reactor would overheat and eventually explode. This is where the That's not good. In. It connects to the plating, you see, and serves as a sort of thermal sink to absorb all that excess energy. Our mm. experiments have shown that fallen ceramics are remarkably thermophilic. They can withstand and absorb levels of heat far above anything we are able to make today. And not only that, they're also waterproof and immune to rust, making them the perfect material for our protective hood. Why? If sea or rainwater were to enter the reactor proper, it would vaporize instantly. The forces produced would tear the ship from stern to... You can stop there. I understand. <laughs> Mid said we might be able to use parts of a fallen ruin. Where would I find it? Ah, 
yes. It's in Lorbert's Pass, near Lostwing. The thing is, well, I probably should have arranged to have the pieces we need brought here sooner. You see, a certain unwanted visitor has taken up residence there. It's no longer a matter of just walking in and taking them. It's, um, going to be considerably more dangerous than that. I see. Then I suppose I'd better deal with this unwanted visitor for you. Would that help? Oh, very much. Thank you, Sid. I'll gather my team and head there right away. We'll meet you outside the ruins. Is that... You know what I was looking for, the griffin? Is that those rules that I found? That I couldn't do anything with? Yeah, I think it is. There's nothing else here that I want to... No, not really. We got the new music, but I'll check that out next time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'll be taking you all to a storehouse in the bales. Leave anything you don't need behind. Yeah, it seems like um, they weren't kidding. They're getting ready for Mortal Kombat. But we shall jump on Ambrosia. Hmm, yes. Our trusty steed. Come on. Run like the wind. Oh, Jesus. Well, you, you, you made it pretty quickly. Wait, are they, are they still? Yeah, this is what I'm gonna say. You guys are pretty far from home. Like Spider-Man. Oh, there you are, Sid. Um, thanks so much for coming. The, uh, ruins are just over there, as is the creature I told you about, I'd imagine. Would you, uh, would you mind? Of course. I'll be right back. Anybody home? Hello? Oh. <laughs> this must be your unwanted visitor. Time to go. Time to wreck some faces, right? Got him. His uh, health seems to be pretty high, though. Oh, well, we got the stagger at least. That was very nice. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Yes. Um, yeah, let's just fucking wreck this motherfucker. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I don't see shit here. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Oh! Where the fuck did that stagger come from? Oh! The tornado! Yeah, that's right! My fucking big ass tornado was still going. Oh, shit. Oh! I got you! You try to hit me with some laser beam, but you've been fired laser this time. Mm -mm. Well, actually, you did fire the laser. But you didn't hit me! The things I do for you, mid. Sid! Oh, thank goodness you're safe. You shouldn't have any trouble now. Indeed. Don't let us keep you. We'll, um, 
See that everything is transported safely back to the hideaway. All right. I'll let Mid know you're on your way. We did it! Quest complete! Letting off Steam 2! Hmm, the eye of the wo oh. oh. I see. It's gray, but it still increases our strike tonic duration by 10 seconds. That can be pretty good, right? Only those who have stood in battle can know its boon and its curse. A first hand account of the Siege of Stonehill. It's on higher, it's on here, it's on her. Stone the Witch. All right. Oh. God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> Good turbo. I am curious about one thing though. Because in this area there was there was that stone thing in the jig, right? That, well, I am that is probably not unlocked yet. But I still want to go check it out. Might never know, right? What if it is? What if I can do something with that now? All right, do you are, do you do anything now? Can I use you? Can I do no? No, I can't. Okay. Well then, you know what that means, don't you? We go back to the hideaway. And then I assume... Oh! Hmm. The patron's... We got something new at the patron's whisper? Or did I just got enough for now to get the next... Like, item? Or like, reward? Or whatever what the hell it is? Donation? That I should say? Yes. Welcome to the patron's whisper. Your benefactors are a generous lot. Oh, yeah. Two meteorites. Okay. Here you are. Then the next one, High Cleric's Medallion. Yeah, that one. 715. That seems to be expand renown to unlock. Yeah. Best of luck out there, Sid. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. We're gonna go back and see Mid. Oh, yeah. See what she's cooking up in there. Oh, yeah. We really want to make sure the ship stays intact. Because I don't want to go on a ship that's. That's made by Michael P. Mid. Helena has recovered the material for the helm. She'll be along shortly. Excellent. Another job well done. And just one remaining. Right. Right. The shield in. This one's a bit of a bugger. How so? The plating's enough to stop the engines going pop, but those things will still be spitting out enough fire to set the rest of the ship ablaze. Which is why you need proper shielding. A prison for the dragon's breath that's blazing away inside. I thought a triple thick layer of tempered steel might do it. Or more of the stuff that the Fallen use, but they both be too heavy. The helm and the plating are bulky enough as it is. Add any more weight and the whole ship would be at the bottom of the briny before we'd even started. I need something light. But I've wrapped my brains and I just can't think what I'd do it. Got a man time? Well, if I were in need of obscure knowledge, I know whose counsel I would seek. Harpocrates. Tomes? Yeah, well, I'd thought of that, obviously. <laughs> I've got all the details written down here. Sure. Can you take this to him? See what he makes of it? Right away. I don't know. I'm not an engineer and I don't know metals. I wonder if he's gonna say something like adamantine. Harpocrates! Hey, bro! How's your nuts? Hippocrates, do you have a moment? For you, Clive? Always. Well, actually, it's for mid this time. Could you take a look at this? Thermal shielding designs. A baffling diagram made all the more confounding by the preponderance of question marks that blemishes borders. I don't have no idea, help me! What do I do with this? Hmm. <laughs> she 
shielding for a mithril engine. Whatever will that girl think of next? What are these notes around the edges? She has some specific requirements for the materials. The shielding needs to be able to resist extreme heat on the inside, and yet remain cool enough on the outside not to set the ship alight, while also being light enough not to sink it. As you can imagine, she's struggling to find anything that meets her needs. I see. I wondered if you might know of a solution, or if you might be able to search the records for one. Hmm. Perhaps it is not a different material she requires, but a different approach. What do you mean? Consider the lake we have made our home. Its blighted waters eat away far more quickly than fresh water or even brine, at timber and steel alike. And yet, we have made a home here from those very materials nonetheless. We have. But Bardolf must varnish every board twice over to keep it from rotting. And Obelus complains that without a constant supply of... <sighs> pitch. I see. Early Gregorian histories speak of a preparation known as Moondew. It is said to be able to resist even the most ferocious flames. Before the Dragoons tamed the worms and wyverns of the realm, nobles would daub their castle walls with it in order to guard against dragonfire. So if we could recreate it... It might be applied to some material or other in order to provide the protection it requires. As to how best to apply it and to what material, perhaps Bardolf and Obelus might be of assistance. I shall speak to them and see what wisdom they might have to offer. If you would be so kind as to procure the necessary ingredients, I shall discuss the specifics of how it might be most effectively put to use with our two friends. The knowledge of the past may yet prove useful to we of the modern era. Thank you, Harpocrates. And since you're asking others to help you, perhaps I should too. So you need a hand, do you? We do. I'll be heading to market for the ingredients we need. I could do with some help. And some company, too. The other can assist me in researching how best to prepare the shielding itself. Can we count on your aid? Always. Well, if Jill's game... Thank you. I am sure either of these fine young minds would prove indispensable in my research. I leave the decision as to who will go with whom in your capable hands, Clive. We get to choose again? Really? So, Clive, have you made your decision? Who will accompany you on your little excursion? So, same thing. Like, we've never did anything with Taya. Um, so, yeah, like, why not? We might actually get some All right. conversations. So, background what are we fetching? Sh shit, right? I have taken the liberty of preparing a list here. Garlic? Conch shells? Are you sure this is the right list? Looks like the ingredients for someone's supper. I was just going to say. <laughs> Though these items may seem mundane, they have potent effects that are rarely exploited. Effects for which they were once highly prized. So much so, in fact, that they were harvested almost to extinction, hence Moondews having fallen from favor. Now, of course, they can be obtained with ease. You should be able to find everything you need at the market in Northreach. Well, isn't that convenient? I was hoping to be able to make a trip over that way sometime soon. Need to speak to an old acquaintance. I'll meet you there. All right. Stay safe. See you later, Clive. Good luck with your research. Sorry, Jill. I'm leaving you behind. And the reason for that is... You know, again, another character that we've never 
done much with other than talk so we might get some uh some sweet sweet dialects there dialogue dialects dialogue no where's Taya? Taya! she's right there leave them pilgers nice and need to stock up on these i won't have you there you are Taya. ah and there you are we shouldn't have any problems finding what we need in a place like this but if time is of the essence perhaps we should split up take a few items each all right what should i look for let's see now why don't you take the garlic and the pepio nuts meet me by the gate when you've got them okay i'm gonna purchase some stuff what do you want <gasps> how dare hey. you thanks for nothing has finally spread to the world. Just because you hate your life, you don't need to like bring that negativity to everyone. And you kind of look like freaking dude that we don't like. Who's now dead. What can I interest you in today? I want some garlic. I hope it's your life. Let's drink talk and, and, and these. Thank you. Ah, oh, yes. Oh. Hopefully Ty is finished too. First cuts. <laughs> Come and get the Up. You'll not find a bruise pivot in the Well, did you find everything? Yes. I did. Here. But why garlic? Have you nuts? Such a such a <laughs> Garlic and Pepio nuts. Job done. We should get this back to Tomes then. He'll be waiting. <laughs> we, I need something that can take care of like extreme heat, garlic, and nuts. Bus, we're not in too much of a rush, are we? Quick chat. See, yeah, we're getting dialogue. It's gonna be something like auto. 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 Auto num, auto num. Do you know, I think this is the very first time we've been out on an errand together. That's what I was saying. <laughs> I think you might be right. In all the years since you and that scowl of yours first appeared, you haven't invited me out once. For shame. Well, it seemed long overdue. And you did say you had some shopping to do. I was hoping to restock my supplies of herbs and liniment, yes. You and Jill alone burned through them like wildfire. No luck, though. My usual supplier's not here, and I refuse to pay the prices these gougers charge. I'll ask Kara when we get back. What is it? Oh, just memories. I came here with Sid once, shopping for supplies, just like today. And just like today, I came away empty-handed. Sid even said he'd speak to Karen for me when we got back. Has it really been five years? I remember it as if it was yesterday. Hold on. Does that mean it's been five years since we met? Feels a lot longer. It does. In a good way, of course. Thank you, Taya. For what? For everything. I just want you to know that all you've done for us or well, you still do. It's appreciated. Do you think I'd stick around if I thought it wasn't? But in the spirit of sharing and caring... You're appreciated too. By all of us. Very nice. It's not done yet. Well, I think we've tarried long enough. I ought to get these ingredients back to Tomes so he can make up this concoction of his. I'll meet you back at the hideaway, all right? All right. And thanks again. I heard you the first time. Ha! Ah! She sounds like me. Yeah. 
people will say thank you or something to me and then a little while they'll say it again i'll be like yeah you told me that already <laughs> i get it let's go back to the hideaway oh yeah I'm kind of a bit of afraid how Hippocrates is getting on with the moon dew. To try the S rank hunt though. Hippocrates, I'm home. How's work on the shielding progressing, Hippocrates? I don't know. Something. Well, very well indeed. And thanks in no small part to your kind assistance. I was just explaining to Taya how we might best go about preparing the moon dew. And now that we have all the ingredients, we may begin. You can count on me. I've mixed more than a few mysterious concoctions in my time. <laughs> I'm sure you have. What about the shielding itself? Work is underway, under the watchful eyes of Bardolf and Obelus. Apparently, it'll be ready soon. Thank you. All of you. Right then. Jill, would you join me in the infirmary? Many hands make light work and all that. Of course. Oh, and Clive. It was good to talk. We should do it again sometime. Sure. It appears our work here is almost at an end. A shame. I was enjoying playing the man of action for once. When both the shielding and the moon do are ready, it will merely be a matter of applying the one to the other, followed by a rigorous process of testing and retesting, of course. Perhaps someone ought to warn young mid of that. Leave it to me. Thank you, Hippocrates. I like that Clive actually calls him by his name and not just Tomes. Well, we're getting a pretty decent amount of renown. Hopefully we'll reach that 715 or whatever what I need. I better go and give Mid the good news then. Oh yeah, we will. And you know what? Since I'm walking next to here. Thank you, Clive. Let's go check out that orchestrion that we've got. I forgot which one it was though. Over there, before the storm. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Da, 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 boom. I wanna I wanna hear the actual song though. Or is it is that all that it is? No. Anyways, <laughs> enough of that. Am I lost? No, I'm not just around. Editor started around. To go submit. Oh, yeah. Tell you, no album coming out next week. Pre order now. Sorry to keep you waiting, mid. But you'll be pleased to know that work on the shielding is underway. You found something for it. In a manner of speaking, Hippocrates knew of a substance that's highly resistant to heat, a coating that should provide the protection you need. He's supervising the construction and testing of the shielding as we speak. Brilliant. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Don't thank me. I'm just the errand boy. Right then. Better start working out how to bolt all these bits together. To the black hammer. Boom, da, boom, 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 black hammer ring. What up, Blackthorn? So when I got into the smithing game, I thought I'd be making swords and shields, not thermal bleeding didgeridoo does. <laughs> Displacement stacks. No. Same difference. <laughs> yes. <laughs> didgeridoo does. Enough as it is. Outside. 
Mid, you get all the parts lined up on the deck. I'll take care of the rest. On my way! Oh, and bring me the biggest salmon you can find. This is gonna require some precision wallabing. <laughs> Some time later, five minutes. Shit. It's finished. It's finally finished. Fuck for that. I'll be feeling my hammer arm for weeks. Thank you, Clive, Blackthorn, everyone. That's one down and just three more to go. I'm sorry? Oh, didn't I tell you? The Enterprise has four mithril engines and we'll be needing a displacement stack for each. You don't mean... <laughs> don't worry. Now they've got a finished one to work off, my gang in Canva can build the rest. Good luck to them, I say. Right, I'm off to get a sling for this elbow. Any other work comes in, keep it to yourselves, eh? <laughs> I had to stop recording for a minute and check to see how awful I screwed that one up. <laughs> I gotta be careful when I set down my controller while watching them cutscenes, yo. What's the matter? Nothing. Just daydreaming. About what you were supposed to do with your dad? Thinking about the Enterprise sailing off over the horizon to shores unknown. Searching for a land untouched by the blight. Just like me and my dad planned. So if the worst came to the worst, and every scrap of soil in the twins turned black, we might still have a chance. That's what she was meant to be. You see, one last chance just in case we needed it. But now she's so close to being finished, I've realized... I don't want her to be that. I don't want her to be just a lifeboat for us to cling to if things get desperate. I want... I want people to sail a border by choice, not from the lack of it. In a world where we're not just trying to survive, but where we can actually live. I'm working on that. And I'll do everything I can to get you what you want. <laughs> Don't you always? All right, my mind's made up. As soon as the Enterprise is fit to sail, I'm putting her under your command. <laughs> Sod our plans, I'm trusting in yours. Are you sure about this? Something tells me it's what my dad would have wanted. He'd be proud of you. You, um... You were gonna visit his grave, weren't you? Mm -hmm. I was. And you can come too, now that your little project is finished. Right. There's just one thing I need to finish up first. Won't be a mo. All right. I'll let Otto know you're coming. Meet us in the mess when you're ready. Aye, aye, Captain. Mm-hmm. Very nice. I'm curious, though. So, I, I find these kind of worlds a little bit funny. Is that the thing Times helped to build? Um, they yeah. Told me she was building very interesting, because this is telling me that they have not discovered all the lanes. This is like pre-colonization of our world, right? Right, Clive. Asterix. We'd finished sending half the hideaway traps in across the twins, mm -hmm. she? I swear, that girl do anything to put off visiting her old dad's grave. No excuses now, though, eh? Not quite. She said there was one final thing she had to take care of. I'm sure she'll be finished soon enough. She said that? In those words? She did, yes. Mm -hmm. Clive. Were you born yesterday or something? There is no thing. What? She'll probably be halfway to Canva by now. Wait, what? Oh, man. I might still be able to catch her. 
Really? Oh, what? What the hell? What the hell? Obelith, have you seen Mid? Yep. In a boat, going that way. <sighs> then I'm too late. Mm, you in a hurry at all, are ya? Oh, I offered to take her across, but she wouldn't wait. Just paid for a dinghy and rowed off. Oars going like the clappers. That's like saying it. <laughs> Got some life in her, and she? Yeah, she does. Uh, anyway, I was on my way up to see you, as it happens. Oh, uh, where are you Got now? A letter for you. Oh. Urgent, by the sound of it. One of your uncle's men said I was to hand it to you in person, post bleeding ace. <laughs> And you're here now. Thank you, Obelith. Don't mention it. What tidings, Uncle? A request for assistance. My dear boy, my journey to Canver has been a resounding success. The friend I mentioned not only agreed to share the contents of his strongbox with us, but his considerable knowledge of the going-ons in the free cities, by which I learned of the endeavors of a certain young friend of yours. Though I, for one, believe Miss Telemann's project to be quite a valiant enterprise, I doubt the Canverian authorities will take kindly to the unauthorized use of their dockyards, no matter how deserted. And if rumor has already reached my friend, it may not be long before the guildmasters are repping at our door, which is why I pen you this note. I would like to borrow your main gaff for a moon or two. That's a long time. That he might keep a watch on those who might mean our little fellowship bill and warn us of any impending attack, I trust that you will give this proposal your full consideration. Trouble in Canva. Well, I'll need someone to keep an eye on mid. I guess it's gonna be Gab. Does it have to be Gab? Are we gonna have like a choice again? No, it went straight to Gab. So what? Mid got us to do all the dirty work and then just sailed off into the sunset? It uh, seems that way. Well, nothing we can do about it now. She doesn't the want to go see the on visiting grave. Seat. You might want to tie her to something before you suggest it. Ah, oh, don't be so hard on her. Got to admit, the dirty work was kind of fun. Everyone pitching in, all that bollocks. I guess. Like when we built this place. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. Now they're anyway, building the Enterprise we all together. set to head to the old hideaway. I could do with getting to Canva pretty sharpish. Wouldn't do to keep Lord Rosfield of the Seven High Houses waiting now, would it? Not after he asked for me personally. Gav will be leaving with me. Will you mind the place while we're gone? You can count on me. Just be sure to give Sid and the others my regards. All right. Oh, by the way, Jill will be joining us too. She's got some things to take care of, but she'll meet us there. I hope she's telling the truth at least. Probably is. She probably just doesn't want to go see her dad's grave for some reason. And who could blame her, right? But it seems we had a side quest waiting for us there, back at the hideaway. But we are going to Sid's. It's called Sid's Legacy. That is. I I like that. That is fitting. Sid's legacy, Central Storm Deadlines. The dust long settled, little remains of the once bustling refuge, many called home. This game is very sentimental. Probably one of the more sen most sentimental Final Fantasies they made so far. It'd be cool if we saw an apparition of him or something. Well, Sid, I remember what you told me. But if no one is listening to what you have to say, you may as well not say it. Well, 
say this, old friend. Hugo Kuka is gone. His shadow looms over us no longer. It's a pity the Phoenix can't be in two places at once. If he'd have been with us, maybe he could have done something for the lost. Not even the Phoenix can bring people back from the dead. Mm. Yet. Life has a beginning and an end. So we must live while we have the chance. And not as slaves to the crystals, but as free men. Feel ready enough to restock my supplies. Uh, you got other reasons to be here. Not as bad as I keep saying you are. Mm. Symbolism. Wasn't the most scenic view back then, but it were never as bad as this. I know. The blight marches on. And soon there will be no escaping sights like these. So our mission remains unchanged. We cannot stop until every Mother Crystal is gone, and their thirst for ether with them. The only one that remains in Storm is Drake's tail in the Crystalline Dominion. Our next target. We're going to Twinside. It's the capital of the Empire these days. I wouldn't like to think how tightly guarded they've got the place. Not that that'll stop you. But we do well to scout it out before you go charging in. We would indeed. If you're off to the Dominion, you can take this great lump with you. <laughs> Good. Oh, I am sorry. Have you forgotten you're the most wanted man in the Twins? <coughs> I thought you might like to disguise yourselves as the attendants of a travelling trader. Assuming you've no better ideas. You wanted to buy yourself some tools, didn't you? Well, now's your chance. <laughs> you letting me go with them? Oh, thanks, <laughs> Nan. Stop that. You break me bones, you great galoot. Come <laughs> on. He also <laughs> acts like Wedge. God damn it. They should have just called him Wedge. <laughs> It's managed by the Merchants Ooh. Guild. Just show them Goots' traders pass, and you'll be on your way. It'll be a damn sight less risky than footing it the length of the Crystal Road. That's for sure. Thank you, Karen. And glad to have you with us, Goots. Oh, oh, okay then. I'll get me things, and I'll meet yous there. See yous down in Buckland. <laughs> Just get off! Me poor fingers! <laughs> <laughs> Jill, you're with me. Understood. And Gav? Already on my way, Captain. Be careful. Aren't I always? Nope. You lost an eye! Oh, that was rough. Sorry. Did you see that, Sid? Your protege is making a proper little outlaw of himself. <laughs> <laughs> He's just there humming happily. <laughs> He's that big old jolly fella. Mm. Like a proper wedge. All we know is his name is Goots. He could be Goots Wedge or Wedge Goots. That could be his family name or something. I don't know. All right. 
Now, we can go over here. Or... We oink. Side quest! Where is it? There? Yeah. In our chambers? Is it one of the new letters? Is that it? Let's go check it out. The crystal too. It is! Oh wait, but there's more than one. Oh! Alright, we got two. Okay. What's this one? A request for assistance. Now that's the one. And then we got about Blackthorn? Oh. Oh! Okay. Uh, cheers for your help dragging Blackthorn out of the dumps the other day. Thing is, I reckon he's gone and thrown himself back in, judging by the droop of his jowl thing. So I'm thinking maybe it weren't just a leather what was on his mind. So maybe there's other demons driving their pitchforks into his privates. <sighs> I know you're a busy bloke, but next time you find yourself free, maybe we could go and ask the old bastard what's got him so hot and bothered. Assuming it ain't just the forge. Uh, heat August request, yes. Oh. Hopefully it's nothing. But I should speak to Blackthorn just in case. Oh, I thought it was just gonna do like some cinematic for a little bit. Scene or whatever. Oh. Okay. And, oh man, there's more. Bad feeling. Ply, something ain't right with that hound of yours. When it pleases your lordship, come pay me a visit at the toll. Yeah. Okay. What could be wrong with Togo? Hmm. I don't I know. Seen well enough when I last saw him. Yeah, exactly. A bone to pick. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. And then we got off the record. The pen is a mightier trophy earned. Okay. Off the record, I was thumbing through the hideaway ledgers at Otto's behest, and might have come across something that might need your attention maybe and by that i mean immediately <laughs> you know where i'll be <laughs> trouble with the ledgers shouldn't he be asking otto for help mm. there must there might be some bigger reasons um yeah so since we're here i'll, I'll just do these two but there's still another one. Yeah. Weird signs. We'll go pick that one up later, too. Hey, Karen. I got your note. You think something's wrong with Torgo? So you can read. Congratulations. Oh my fucking god, Karen. I didn't say I were wrong with him. I said some of weren't right. He's not been eating me treats. He used to love cracking the bones from Molly's boiled brown, but now he won't so much as look at him didn't like him, which is why I'm of a mind that his mind's on somewhere else. You've not been working him too hard, have you? No harder than usual. Is that it, boy? Do you need a rest? <laughs> what was it you said he was? A frost wolf? That's what the lawsman seems to think. Then maybe this all has something to do with whatever it is that's woken inside him. I suppose things have been different since Rosaleth. Perhaps Hippocrates knows something. Instead of everything, you mean? Perhaps. Okay. Hey, Blackthorn! Blackthorn. Do you have a moment? Not really, no. This won't take long. I just wanted to ask how you're getting on. August was worried about you. Again? I'd still be doubting your craft, even after learning the trick of that cuirass. Is there something else weighing on your mind? Perhaps sharing your thoughts might help. That bastard's like a dog with a bone. Still, you've got a keen eye, I'll give him that. He's just, well, Karen showed me something. Something I've never seen before. Another one that of these? Was a sword. An odd-looking thing with a single-edged blade. 
the metal itself wasn't anything to write home about, but fuck me. The edge on it. You could slice a man clean in two with a weapon like that, and he'd be halfway home before he even realized he'd been cut. So that's what's troubling you? Nah, no, no, no. They're not troubling me exactly. More distracting. Can't stop thinking. How do you get an edge of that sharp? It's driving me mad. And if you knew how to do it, we could arm the curse breakers with even better blades. That's about the size of it, yeah. I'll see what I can find out. Sharper swords are always welcome. And we can't have our master blacksmith being distracted. You're a soft touch, you know that. But I can't say I'm not grateful for it. Good luck, eh? Thank you. Hmm. Let's see what Karen knows about this sword. I wonder if this is going to unlock better weapons. Probably, right? You're looking well, Karen. What you want? Out with it. I want to know about the sword you show Blackthorn. Single-edged and extremely sharp. Running around after him again, are you? Yes. I suppose I am, yes. But I need to help him find out how to work an edge like that. It's driving him to distraction. Little wonder, I suppose. There's not many like that make it as far as the twins, and those that do go straight into private collections. Which made it nice and easy finding a buyer. Can you tell me who bought it? Where is it now? You think I tell people who my clients are? Suppose you're not likely to go nicking him off me, are you now? Fine. If you stop mooning at me like that. Lord Ignax, the man you want. Delmechian bloke. Collects weapons and the like. And he's got more money than sense, which is why he's one of my favorite clients. Reckon he'll still be at the inn in Dallamil, where I left him. Thank you, Karen. Oh, and he's a touch eccentric, if you take my meaning. Hmm, I appreciate the warning. Now, my question is, if he w If that weapon was so good, why, like... I'm a bit confused, right? Like, she showed him a weapon. He's like, oh my God, how do you get it so, like, so sharp? get the weapon keep it study or something i don't know but then she goes and it out of the way and then we gotta go out of the way and oh let's go grab uh that quest there too that's uh in mids B bdsm dungeon i mean just plain dungeon is it helena well no oh wait that's it then here Sid, reckon you might be just the man to help me out of a bit of bother, if you've a mind to. Let's hear it. Well, it's about this alembic the chief's got me making. Lovely bit of kit it is. Bung in a solution you want split in, and it will separate it out, just like that. Problem is, it won't always get rid of all the impurities. And with some of the stuff we need it for, that ain't good enough. Which is why I've been looking for something to filter the liquid we will be cooking off. And that's where I was hoping you could help me out. Why not? I imagine Ty could get some use out of this Alembic too. Distilling medicines and the like. All right, why not? Proper job. So what exactly do you need for this filter? Nothing but bomb ash will do, says the chief. Gave me a sample she'd obtained from the university stores. Couldn't believe my eyes. You pour the blackest blight water through it, and it comes out clear as a mountain stream. So, I did a bit of reading about where I might be able to get older some. And do you know what I found now? It's only the blimmin' bones of a bomb king. Mm. They leave them behind when they die, see? Mm. I take it that's where I come in. <laughs> if you wouldn't mind. I, I, I saw a billet on the hunt board for one just the other day. Would have gone myself. <laughs> More hunts! Well, fighting dirty great balls of flame isn't exactly my forte. You, on the other hand. All right. I'll see what I can do. Thank you kindly. And, and a good hunting, eh? Are you a Canadian too, eh? 
weird signs. I like these side quests. They add a lot of time to the gameplay. Gives us some content. Y'all. Oh, that they do. What's up, bro? Clive. Did you get my letter? Yup. Oh. That's why I'm here. Hideaway may be slightly behind in its payment to certain lenders, and it may be my fault. But I swear to the goddess, I thought I had the numbers square. Oh, Sadly, no. that square turned out to be more of a circle. Zero, you might say. What? I can straighten it out, I swear, but it's going to take some time, and... I'm gonna need help keeping it from Otto. Be late for that, I'd say. Oh, oh, oh. There you are! What a surprise! <laughs> so let me get this straight. You forget to pay our lenders what they're due, and instead of coming straight to me, you get Clive to come to you. And I hope he'll dig you out of the hole you've dug for yourself. Clive, the man in charge of the place you've been cheerfully trying to bankrupt. And you thought this was a cunning plan. Why? Well, who needs paying? Oh, just Martha. And the dame. And, well, Lady Karen. <laughs> but only 500 talents. We owe three of our most trusted friends five million gil. Each. Five million. Each. <laughs> They lent us the bulk of the money we used to rebuild the hideaway, you see, and well, uh, I must have made some sort of <laughs> oversides. <laughs> oh, shit! Those ledgers were my responsibility, and it was my decision to entrust them to you. This is my fault. Do we have that much to hand? I can always ask my uncle. No, we don't. And no, you won't. We've lightened Lord Rossfield's purse enough. After the King's ransom we had off him, he deserves better than to see our begging bowl. Besides, we'll need to learn to stand on our own if we're going to make this work. That is true. Right. But that doesn't mean you have to shoulder the burden yourself. Is there anything I can do to help? There might be. How'd you fancy taking these to Martha and the Dame? Rocks. Rocks. He says, worth a thousand talents apiece, these are. A little something Sid and I set aside for when times got lean. And I reckon 15 million in overdue debt probably qualifies. I just hope our associates' eyes are a bit more discerning than yours. I'm sure they will be. Mm. Should be me making the rounds, really. Holy shit, they're Being rich. Being out this place, orders to bulk. Ours is to wipe millionaires. I know, which is why I don't mind going in your place. Go. Do you know why I only gave Master Clive here two star rubies? Because you'd rather Lady Karen killed me. Because I'd rather Lady Karen killed you. Yes. <laughs> I suppose this is goodbye then. Peace, bro. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm sure Karen will understand. Really? Do you think so? No. I don't. Oh. Good times. It told me she was building a ship. <laughs> is that the thing Tom's helped? I wish I had that much money. We could buy all the orchestra walls we wanted. Mm. A tease. 
Norseman. I need to ask you about Torgor. Something's not right with him. He isn't ill, is he? I don't think so. But according to Lady Karen, he seems to have lost his appetite. Which is certainly a new development. She says he's hardly been touching his bones of late, and she believes it may have something to do with what happened at Rosalith Castle. Hmm. Hmm. I rather think she might be right, though not about his appetite. All canids are instinctively inclined to crack open bones for the rich marrow that resides within. And I see no reason why a frost wolf should be any different. Accordingly, I suspect it is not a lack of appetite that afflicts Torgal, but a surfeit of it. That's why I was in your nuts, if right? If we assume that his newfound magics require additional nourishment to sustain, it may well be that the bones Lady Karen is accustomed to providing are no longer sufficient. Frost wolves, after all, habitually prey upon far larger animals, whose bones may yield altogether different nutrients. As to where one might find a suitable substitute, some antelopes that graze the meadows of eastern Rosaria have been known to grow to a size more than double that of their lesser cousins. I don't recall ever seeing any that large. Yeah, I me mean, neither. You know. And little wonder. The oldest and largest such creatures rarely leave the safety of the highlands for fear of predators. The last elder antelope sighting I recall hearing about took place near Cressida, and that was long before the village was abandoned. Even so, it seems like a good place to That's start. That's where Badna is from, right? Clive. Yeah, where his parents' grave is? Pretty sure that's what it was. I am pretty sure. Oh yeah, shit. I was right next to the hunt board and completely forgot to check it out. Hey, Nectar. What up? Ask about bomb settings. Hmm. Are you on the hunt for a bomb king coupon? If so, I have a ability that might interest you. Oh, yeah. Right there. Oh, it's only rank B2. Nice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Bomb King, a curse breaker aiming for the Imperial Chance took a wrong turn into a near B nearby wood within which she discovered the ruins of a fallen airship and within them, a piece akin to a great ball of fire that chased her screaming from the grove. The soldier later identified the creature in an almanac of echoes but was firm in her insistence that the bomb she saw was near 10 times the size of one depicted therein. The Croc. Sandbrick. Okay. <laughs> I still need to. Oh, I still, I still, oh. I'll try that one at some point. So, we. Oh. Well. That's right. There's absolutely nothing that I can do here at this point. Other than continuing the main story. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll see what happens in the next video. Sweat up. Hello? Who is this? It's fucking weird.